everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and our Blackpool Pleasure Beach vlog. Easy for me to say. Now we went into the Pleasure Beach in July 2020 when it had not long reopened after the COVID lockdown. So we're looking at social distancing measuring measurements and also I am in a wheelchair so we're giving you it from a disabled access point of view as well. So sit back, relax and enjoy our day at the Pleasure Beach. Um, so we're currently waiting for everything to open but when it does we're gonna go and bless you <laughs> interrupting me we're gonna go into the ticket center and get my carer's ticket so i can get into the park yay as of today in england it's mandatory to wear masks places and shops so we've got our mask we're gonna maybe buy proper ones in Blackpool, merch, merch ones, might get an icon, no the icon ones aren't actually that no, nice, I saw it on Sean's vlog, nice, not from uh, Theme Park World, exactly, I saw it on Sean, but um, we'll see what happens, yeah. So that's us got our tickets and we're just going to the park entrance to get security check and tickets sorted and everything like that. Yay, and our first ride is icon, they've got oh the speedy God. pass so we're going to be clicking that and heading on. So after mum losing her purse, <laughs> I didn't lose like, it, I just like forgot I it. Get. Le left it in the other building. That is us through and into the car. Woohoo! Head into Icon. As soon as Icon opens, we're allowed on. Yay! Our favourite ride. But th th this is when we find out it's like breaking down or something. Yeah. Oh, I, love I, love, I love their Ooh. music. They always play good music in here. Yeah. It's bigger than I remember. Is it? Yeah. They have, ha they have had some stuff done. Though. Grand National. A lot of it will be a bit different route because they've had to extend the queues. The play I know the Grand National queue is extended right round the side. Yeah, that's right. There's the fountains that Abbey Field went into last year. Don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Gourmet fries. Oh, look at those tracks. Oh, I get an adrenaline rush just looking at them. Well, Brick, you looking forward to it? Yeah. Yay! Do you think you can get me through there without getting me wet? Let's try it. Let's try it. Don't get me wet. Don't get me wet. Oh, she got me wet. Oh, she got me. She got me. You think that's funny? We're going up the big hill, and Abby and Brick are having to push me. Mom. Blackpill, you really need to make your paths more even. That's nice. Be patient, be kind, have fun. That's lovely. Oh, look, Ico. Right. Well, we're going, going to the shop first and see if we can get a mask. Yeah, go on it again this year. The revolution is going to go on it again this year. Yeah, it's a bag of look. Yeah. There's Avalanche. Oh, there's Avalanche get, getting ready. No, he is, he's laughing. Oh, that freaks me out. That, oh, I don't like that. Do you like that, Brooke? Yeah. Does that not make you think of a horror film? No. It's definitely been refurbished a few times. Yeah. Founded 1935. There's the train up there for the big one. Yeah, it stopped. And it just stood remember, it. remember it did that with us on it last year? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was struggling as well. That was scary. No, it was further down. Right, here's the icon shop. We're going to go in here. We will let you see some of the things that are in here. I love the theming. Same. Yeah. Okay. Listen. I would quite like to start collecting resins. Nice jacket. Our masks. Well, right, Brooke, let's see you. What? Turn around the back. Oh, I've had to tie Brooks because it was too big. Oh, There's Abby's. Uh, wait, here's mine. I wish they would make them adjustable because we're a bit worried about them falling off. Oh, 
was getting kind of used to being someone you love. <laughs> Monica Paldi. Yep. Right, we're heading around to Icon now. We go on the exit because you're I'm in the wheelchair. Um, but you still need the speedy pass, which basically it stops us from skipping the queue all the time. Or you have to do it on an app to say, right, OK, we want to go on Icon. And then once we've been on it, it counts down so that we have to wait so long. And what it does is it's it makes it half of the queue time so, so, say, so say we want to go on icon and we want to go on the big one and we got off icon and the queue for the big one was 80 minutes we'd have to wait 40 minutes that's before right. we could go on it yeah that's how it works which is a much fairer system for people well, not no, for us really, yeah. <laughs> the back entrance yep. there's the carriages and there we go oh, can't wait to get sitting on them how excited are you for icon yeah. Well, what did you think? I've missed that. Really good. My mask kept falling off. Did yours? Mine kept falling off. Yeah. Mine didn't. Yeah, I you've got yours tied quite well. Yeah, really, really good. There was a bit of a debate. We nearly never got on because they weren't sure whether I would be able to walk off if it was an evacuation. I just told them I could. <laughs> so we're going to go on to the Speedy Pass next and book ourselves onto the... Big one. big one and see how long we're going to have to wait. So now we're heading to the big one, Pepsi Max. And Probably one of my favourites. My favourite. Yeah. Even though we get stuck on I've not got the good luck on the big one. I <laughs> know, we, we keep okay. getting stuck on it. We got yes, stuck. Yes. Right, when me and Mum went on it the first time, we got stuck at the end, waiting for ages. Then we went to go on it again and someone had been sick, so we had to wait ages. And then when that had been cleaned up, the ones were too bad. So we just went off to go to Madden Two Swords, and then as soon as we got out of the station, it went. <laughs> and then the last time when we were on it with Brooke, I it stopped me. on the big left hill at the start. Yep. So <laughs> let's see if this will do better. But we're getting straight on it because of how the queue times are working. So yeah, it's only just opening just now, so there's no. It's everyone's telling us came, we can everyone's get straight, came straight on. To icon, yep. so. Yeah. So we can get straight on. Yay! Right. We're heading to the big one. Oh, there's another one, we're up the hill. And sorry, squeaky, That's normally the dog jumps, but they're closed just now. Because of Covid, we've got the one-way system here. Oh yeah, that car's still up there. It was meant to be opening at half ten. There's Icon. Yeah, well, Icon's open. Big one's um, yeah, it was supposed to be opening at half ten. We'll go around and see what the situation is. Steeple chase, are you going on that this year? I was always scared of that. I'll go on it. You've yeah. been on it, Brooke? Yeah. And it's not fast it's, or anything. It's not that fast, but you race each other, but you're sitting on a horse rather than Ooh. in a carriage. You do get a seatbelt on. Yeah, but, that's but I it. just remember not feeling very secure. There it is, the big one. It looks like it's shot. It's been, it's yeah, really it looks chase. like we're not getting on the big one just steeple. now. So I've been Brooke are heading on steeplechase. I've not been on that before, so it'll be interesting what they think of it. I just remember being scared when I was younger, I didn't feel very secure on it, so we'll see what Brooke feels. So hopefully the big one will open at some point because it's one of our favourite rides and um, it's not meant to be close today. We'll see what happens. So far the, the social distancing isn't really affecting us. It is a bit awkward wearing the mask on the ride. When we were on Icon it kept slipping off, I was worried about losing it because they were £8. We really don't want to be losing them. But other than that, uh, I've not seen any signs of rides being cleaned or anything but they are just open so I'm sure we'll see that later on as the day goes on um, yeah it's not too busy yet we'll see how busy it feels by the end of the day once everybody's in but yeah enjoying it so far it's a good day so it's good that they have got the, the hand sanitizers at the entrance of all the rides I wouldn't say that they're adhering to the social distancing in the queue as such I think everybody's really quite close together but that's probably just the excitement isn't it people don't really think about it when they're in queues like that and everybody's got their mask on so hopefully it'll be okay but yeah I did expect a bit more social distancing to be enforced in the queues but we'll see what happens on the rest of the rides oh there they are they're on the middle horse and they're lined up and they're ready to go and oh they're last off we won. We went on together. You went on together. Yeah, I saw won. Brooke was on the front. You won, did you? Because yeah. you were last off. No. Excellent. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? 
Yeah. Can I yeah. hurt my hips so bad? I hurt your hips. See when you see when we you turned? Because I've uh -huh. got buttons there and it dragged right into them. Uh, I'm right. doing that again later. Did you enjoy it? Did it make you feel like you were really horse riding? Uh -huh. I don't know if this was here when we were here last time and I just didn't notice it. But look, I take it we can't do it just now. An escorted climb to the summit of the big one. You can walk to the big one, Brooke. Yeah. Would you fancy that, Abby? Yeah. Would you really? Yeah. Oh, no chance. No entry again, the one-way system. It's a shame seeing all of these things closed, isn't it? I don't know if that's because of COVID or if it's just because of the way things are now. I know that the, the dragon maze, that's closed. Oh yeah. What is, I've never Big Dipper Dogs, that's all closed. No, I've never... Well, I think I have when I was young, but not for years and years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that building there was the black hole. You can still see it looks Isn't like the, the outside restaurant? the big that, That's the restaurant. Box. Is that the that's restaurant? We so it is, that's right. That's where we had our pizza last year, pizza and pasta. Uh, yeah, that was an indoor ride. Yeah, big pizza. Oh, lose. That's very subtle. One thing that I'll say is it's definitely not lost the atmosphere. The music's still playing everywhere and people are smiling. Well, most of them are wearing masks, but you can tell by their eyes they're smiling. Yeah, definitely still social distancing, but still got the atmosphere. It's lovely. And it does help. Look at that sky. Blue sky. We're so lucky. So lucky. There's definitely people going around doing lots of cleaning as well, which is a good thing, especially around the toilets or the loos. Heading on here into Nickelodeon land. Don't know what's open food wise, we've not seen anything yet. Don't know what it's saying near Big Pizza Kitchen. So it's saying takeaway pizza, because that used to be the buffet. Another one way system there, keep left. Big Pizza Kitchen scan me, so I take it you scan to order your food. SpongeBob is there! Yay! We just can't meet him, I don't think. SpongeBob! Oh, Abby, you still love SpongeBob. Oh, hi, SpongeBob! Oh, so you can meet SpongeBob at two o'clock and half four. You can meet the guy from Bob. So you can. The other two are on an adventure. What about here? The turtles are away eating pizza. Oh, half past two, one o'clock. So you can meet them. I'm really surprised at that. The blue flyer, is that what you went on last time? No. Or was it Nickelodeon Street you yeah, went on? Yeah, the blue flyer is like a tiny bit. So this is usually the kiddies part now of Blackpool. You've got your stalls. The open. Is the flume open? The way you open. Oh, so it is. Ah, so we've got a snack shack here. Do you want to get something from here? Just a wee quick snack and a drink? Yeah. Yeah? Right, so a change of plan. We're not going to Snack Shack. We're going to head up and see if the place that does the crepes is open. Oh, I think Donna couldn't get on the crusty crab. That's the one that got soaked on as well. We went on that thing that was going to be just that wee kiddie thing. Uh -huh. We got absolutely drenched. Ah. Absolutely drenched. Dora's World Voyage. So, yeah, this is lovely for kids. Nickelodeon Street Abbey and Brooke went on that last time. So, this is a dead end. There's the log flumes. So we're going to turn around and go back up to where Wallace and Gromit is. Look at him! SpongeBob! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at her waving at SpongeBob. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. That's one thing about Blackpool that you'll discover if you're in a wheelchair. It's not very wheelchair friendly. We need to go the long way around all the time because there's a lot of stairs and a lot of hills, as Abby's found out. <laughs> So it looks like they're cleaning the carriages now on the big one, so hopefully we're going to get on that shortly. There's Avalanche up there. Oh, they're getting ready to open the gallopers. Icon. I just love that ride. Do you know what I love about Icon? You can see it in almost every part of the park. You can see it, yeah. It goes all the and way around. The track comes right over your head. Yeah, I mean, that's Icon right there. There it is, that's upside down, it. yay! Oh, I smell hot donuts. I want a hot donut. Before we leave here, I'm having a hot donut. The revolution, that's it going backwards. Right, so we're going along here to see if we can get some crepes. Yum, yum. Now, this is where I was last year because Abby and Brooke went on Infusion, which is there. So I was sitting at the tables, which were here last year because there wasn't COVID, 
eaten my crepe and along came a big bloody seagull, landed and stole it. I was not impressed. Right, what we getting? Let's see. Yeah, this is where they do the waffles and crepes. Let's get something nice. So over there, the blue track is Infusion. And I can't get on that, but the girls said last year that it was really rickety and I've been really. Before last year as well. Yeah, you think I, it, I it really like hurts it. you? I don't, don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it at all. Neither does Sean or Charlotte, do they? Uh, I'm with Charlotte on that one. Yeah. I just want to collapse after it. Rick enjoyed it. She's wanting to go on it, but I don't know. We'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, and then of course the red track is the big one, waiting to see whether that starts or not. Hope so. And in the meantime, we're waiting for our pancake. Yum, yum, yum. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights You're the tail of one Lemon and sugar That wasn't too bad finding a table So we're right outside Walls and Gromit Ride which we're going to go on once we've had our pancakes There's a revolution right up there And I, I really want to know, really want to know It's like they can get a refund. I think it enjoyed your pancake. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we enjoyed their pancakes and so did the seagull. <laughs> yeah, the seagull enjoyed my pancake. The seagull well. enjoyed the end of your pancake, didn't it? That was a bit cheeky. Right, let's go on Wallace and Gromit now. Yay! Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down Hold on, hold on, hold on Point the day, lad, Tuesday So we enjoyed Wallace and Gromit, didn't we? Yeah, it was good. We're going to go on the river case now. I've not been on this for years. Brooke's I've never been, been on it, and Abby hasn't been on it for years either. I, I, I can't remember last time I was on it. Aren't yeah, it should be fun. Did you enjoy the river caves? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit yeah. dated now, isn't it? It's very dated. <laughs> Let's see if Brick's going to be brave enough to go on the ghost train. Ha 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 ha! I do want to come on. I'm positive I don't want to go on. Please? No. Please. No.
Valhalla's oh, under construction. <laughs> that used to be Noah's Ark, Abbey. That's the entrance there. Ah, right, yeah. And you used to be able to walk through that. It used to be a walk Welcome to Pride. You got a whole view of Did you? Did you enjoy it? speedy pass we came along to it and there's a technical issue oh look they have to be evacuated off there so they had to get taken off there and come down the stairs so Brick is waiting to go on the steeplechase again and they have stopped it for the routine cleaning so I was talking to the lady and she said every hour they're doing a like a proper sort of deep clean of all of the equipment so the ride has been stopped just now, so that's a good thing, at least we know that they are cleaning the equipment every hour and the queue's just stopped just now until that's done then they're going to head back on again. So the girls are getting ready to go on avalanche, there it is from up the hill. Is this not the same place that we were singing this yeah. last time? <laughs> right, so, what did you think of Avalanche? It was good. It, it was, was really good? good. Yeah. It was more the pain level. Was it hurting you? It's fine for me. The only thing that hurt me slightly was digging into my belt. Ah, right, okay. It because I was trying to get not hurt by that. I think I was on Avalanche years and years and years ago when I was younger and I could still walk. It was open 1980. 1980? Yeah. 1988. 88, right, okay, so... Yeah, I would have been 13 then. Those were the days. I could walk then. Anyway, we're heading back to Icon. Yay! Our favourite. Can't wait. Well, Icon was good again, but there was a wee bit of an issue that time. Um, we got on the pack, so there's two seats in a row. So Brooke sat in front of us, me and Abby were on the very back row. And then the ride operator came and said that no, it's okay, on you go. The ride operator came and said that we had to move down a few rows. Now bear in mind I'm in a wheelchair, I can only walk a few steps. And Brooke was in the row in front of us and they were telling us to move and I said, look, that's my daughter there. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. And it was because the very back rows got bigger harnesses and there was someone there who two people who were too big to fit in the middle row so they made me the disabled person get off and walk at least they were the calling skinny at least they were calling me skinny that's true and uh, I had to leave my 11 year old daughter sitting on her own while we went way down the front of her I didn't like that I have to say to me they should have been told to wait until the next train and they should just put them in the back row then I really, I wasn't happy about that at all. But other than that, it's been a great day. That's, that's been the only thing, um, apart from the fact, you know what, I'm going to get to a quieter bit and then come on and talk to you. So hopefully it's a bit quieter here. But actually, I don't know if you can see in the background there. In the background there, they're just cleaning the Big Dipper. They're doing their routine clean. Um, yeah, what I was saying is the one thing that I have found this year is every ride for wheelchair um, users, 
you now have to be able to walk so far for them to let you on in case they have to evacuate the ride. Last year when we were here there was only a couple that we were told that I had to leave the wheelchair and walk so far but this year every single ride, even for the river caves, um, I had to leave the wheelchair and walk so I don't think it's very fair for wheelchair users who can't walk. Um, I can walk a few steps but only when I really have to because it hurts me and it tires me out and it's only when I'm strong enough so luckily today's a good day so I've been able to do it holding on to Abbey and Brook but if this was yesterday for example I wouldn't have been able to do it because I wasn't strong enough so there's nothing really to say that I'm aware of on the website or when you're booking your tickets that that's the case and when I phoned up to say I'm in a wheelchair, what's the situation? They didn't say you need to be able to walk before you can go on any rides and they just said that I had to book a ticket and then my carer would get a ticket free when we got here. So I paid for an adult ticket and if it wasn't one of my good days I wouldn't have been able to go on any rides at all. So I think that's a bit of an unfair system. I get where they're coming from in case they have to evacuate, but surely they've got some or they could have some other system in place now because I know there's people with even more severe mobility issues than me who love going on rides and it's not fair that they can't go on them if they can't walk at all. Anyway, I'm not going to rant anymore because it's been a really good day. Just thought I would let you all know that that is the situation. I think people are trying to get in the board behind me here. Uh, I just thought I would let everybody know that that is the situation at the moment if you're in a wheelchair and you come to Black Bay. Right, I'm going to wait for them to come off the Big Dipper. The Easy Pass is currently unavailable on the Big Dipper just now so I can't get on. So I'm just waiting for Abby and Brooke to come and uh, then we're going to go and see where else we're going to go. I think they're one who's going to Grand National next, so I think that's the plan. Oh, there they are. They're on the front of the Big Dipper. All the coins in the water. Oh. Here they go. Your full body's still vibrating. It is a very vibration ride, isn't it? It's not even fun anymore. Yeah. What about you, Brooke? Did you enjoy it? The whole time I was paranoid because I kept thinking I held wood breaking. <laughs> so, how was your day in Blackpool Pleasure Beach, girls? It was good. Yeah, really enjoy it? Yeah. We have had a great day, haven't we? We didn't manage to get on the big one, did we? Um, it is running again, however, even with the wheelchair speedy pass, they're not letting me up the exit ramp now, so you need to walk upstairs, which I can't do. So I can't get on the big one and the speedy pass is only for use if I'm on it so we couldn't let the girls use it and um, by the time it was up and running again there wasn't enough time for them to queue. And no one asked no one when we got there with It would probably have broken down again, yeah, absolutely. So that's us just getting ready to leave the park. We're going to have a wander around the Golden Mile and uh, yeah, that'll be that. That was our day in Blackpool Pleasure Beach. We thoroughly enjoyed it and disabled access wise... It wasn't bad, um, they've definitely changed their policies and whether it's on the website or not I don't know but if it is it's not clear and it's not clear when you speak to them on the phone to book it either. Um, what they do is you have to book online at the moment because of Covid, you book for the disabled person and everybody else in your party apart from the carer, then when you get to Blackpool Pleasure Beach you go into the guest services and you ask for a carer's ticket you provide evidence of the disability I took my DWP letter and your carer gets a free entry ticket and what they do is for access to the rides it's an app that they use called what was it called Speedy Pass I think and they log you in so that you get it for free whereas other people have to pay for it and they do only allow one other person with the disabled person to use that access area. If you want any more than that, you have to pay £5. Now, I had to pay for Brooke, even though she's only 11 and I wouldn't have been willing to leave her outside the ride on her own. I still had to pay for her, whether she was going on the ride or not. For her to be able to come to that area with me, 
she had to pay the five pounds so i wasn't very happy at that the speedy pass basically what you do is when you're going on a big ride you click that you want to go on it it tells you when to go to the ride in our case every time we clicked on it we could go straight to the the entry the staff then scan it and that tells the app that you need to wait so long before you can book another one so it was basically around 15 minutes half an hour before you could book another big ride to access that way did give you a leaflet telling you what ones you needed the speedy pass what ones you couldn't go on in a wheelchair what ones you could go on without the speedy pass and what were, what were closed so that was really good um disabled toilets there were plenty of them but you need your radar key um that side of it was really good the social distancing side was pretty good as well and the staff were pretty good but not overly visible there wasn't a lot of staff wandering about we we, we did have an incident where we passed a gang of youth sitting beside where the kiddies bit is smoking dope and we couldn't find a member of staff to report it we actually had to go into the restaurant to get them to get someone to go and move them on um but other than that yeah the staff were really good so if you can't walk unaided Blackpool isn't the place to go because you're not getting on even the basic rides without being able to walk unaided and I think that is quite unfair to be perfectly honest with you because they don't make that clear and the disabled person does have to pay a full price ticket so not the best system in the world but in general we still had a brilliant day we had a really good day just look out for the seagulls <laughs> look out for the seagulls they do like to steal your food right so that's everything i hope you've enjoyed this vlog if you have got any questions at all please leave them below and we'll see you in our next video thanks everyone bye